Hey superstars, so I just got back from a 31k bike ride. May have overdone it, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm just gonna whip up a super quick salmon dish because I don't normally eat protein at night time, but I think after all of that bike riding, why not? So it's um, an Asian inspired dish. Um, earlier in the week, some people challenged me to use orange in a few different ways. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but also it's just a really quick, simple, healthy dinner. Um, low carb low calorie super fresh super flavor um and it's very very delicious very very easy to whip up so i'm going to share with you guys what i've got here on the chopping board so we've got some um some celery some leek some fennel i've also got some fresh okra chopped up which is an asian vegetable i've got some red capsicum and some uh, bok choy with some red cabbage some garlic ginger and the root system so this section here of the um uh fire what are we talking about coriander actually if you chop that down and cook that down inside of a curry it's actually really really good so what we're going to do i've got the pan heating up here and we're just going to grab the base of this sauce here which is just pop that in there nice and hot i'm going to throw in at the same time my leek and my, my leek, my fennel, and my okra, and cook those ones down. Super quick and easy, this dish, guys. Really, really easy, lots of flavor. All in the pan, let that one cook off. I do lie, though, I will admit. There is something I'm cooking, which I'm, I think after 31 Ks of riding, I'm totally entitled that if I want to have some homemade tater chips, sweet potato chips in the air fryer. These have just got cinnamon on them and a tiny bit of salt and pepper. And I've just popped them through the air fryer for 20 minutes. They're going to be on the side. So all we've got here is just, like I said, the garlic, whoop, garlic, ginger, leek, fennel, okra, celery. It's probably too much there, but I don't mind. I'll always overcook the amount of vegetables that I have there. And then what I'll actually do is put them away for a dish at another time. I'm also going to splash through there a little bit of cumin, because cumin's super important for me at the moment. Once that's cooked off a little bit, I'm just going to add in my orange and let that start cooking down at the same time. Who would have thought orange in a dish like this? That's going to cook through nicely. And then while that one's cooking, I'm going to add in a bit of my capsicum and my Asian greens, which was the bok choy. Cheeky, cheeky, sneaky here. Now, most of you would think to put something like sesame oil in at the beginning, but it actually turns it quite rancid. I actually put it through at the end as a last minute flavoring so that it keeps the best of the oil in there rather than it allowing it to um, destroy the, the goodness in the oil. I'm gonna add a dash. Now, I don't normally eat, use too much soy sauce, but I'm only adding just a small portion here, about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add in there, because it's a seafood dish, I'm going to add in some capers. Oh yeah, I like my capers. Add capers at your discretion as to what you like. I know it seems weird to be cooking orange in a savoury dish, but trust me, it turns out delicious. It smells divine as well. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to actually jump in in about 25 minutes and uh, make the version 2.0 of the lentil brownies. I actually currently have the lentils cooking right here. Let's turn those bad boys down. So for those who were questioning the other week how to create cooked lentils, this is it. You just put them on, cover them in water, let them cook down. Just an FYI. So we're smashing away here at this veggies. Once these have cooked off a little bit, I'm actually then going to take that out of the pan and then add my salmon by just letting that, so the flavor will stay in there. I'm not gonna rinse the pan. I'm just going to then take the veggies out of the pan, 
pop them aside and then cook my fish off at the same time. And grab my container for my veggies. Almost there, we're gonna give it just a tiny bit longer. I just want a little bit more cooked on there. How does he know, man? Gamers. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is the good thing about Bunsen burners. These are really, really great cookers, but if you haven't used one before... Hey, Kels, where'd you put the cans? Under the thing. Do, do, do. Hang with me, people. Hang with me. I'm just getting one of these. These are awesome. I love these cookers, but obviously they do run out. Not a worry. These are now being taught how to load and reload a Bunsen burner. All the educational tools here, guys. All the education. I'm doing it one-handed too, which I think that's a skill. Make sure it's all turned off. Flick it down. Eureka! We have power again. So we're just going to cook those off. I'm going to then oh, pop the salmon in with the oil. So I want the oil to go through the salmon. That I'm going to just put the salmon. All I'm going to do with the salmon is adding some cumin. A little bit of the sesame oil. A little bit of fresh lemon. And a little bit of soy sauce. And that's all that's going to go on my salmon as I pop it into the hot pan once this is done. Which it almost is. I just have to change the gas. But that's perfect. I'm going to leave that. Off. Reheat my pan now. As that gets to temperature, all I'm going to do is add in my sesame oil while that's heating. You can see that it's starting to pop and make noise. Listening, listening, ready. We're almost there. So I said before, I don't want to heat the sesame oil too much. All I'm going to do is just lightly pop that on there. Grab my salmon. that one down. I'm only going to do one of my salmon because that means I will do something epic with that tomorrow. And then all I'm doing here is just adding in a sprinkle of cumin. A splash of soy. Squeeze of some lemon. And that's going to create a bit more sauce. All I'm going to do is let that cook for about a minute on one side, then I'm going to turn it over and serve it up. I'm going to let you guys go here. I'll put a, uh, a post up of the finished product so you guys can see how delicious and easy a delicious salmon dish can be. There's the veggies. Bringing it together, guys. See you in a minute.